In this video, we will go step by step on how to calculate for the equilibrium constant for the chemical reaction iron 3 ion plus thiocyanate ion forming iron 3 thiocyanate ion. Imagine that we prepare a mixture by mixing 10 ml of 2 times 10 to the negative 3 molar iron 3 chloride with 10 ml of 2 times 10 to the negative 3 molar potassium thiocyanate. We expect the solution to become blood red due to the formation of iron 3 thiocyanate ion. By some method, the concentration of iron 3 thiocyanate ion was found to be 1.5 times 10 to the negative 4 molar at equilibrium. How do we find the equilibrium constant value from this information. Our first step will involve finding the initial number of moles of each reactant. Recall that molarity is moles divided by the liters of solution. Since we have the concentration in molarity and the volume of each reactant, we can use this formula to compute for the moles of the reactant. Take note, these are initial moles. Using our equation, we find that the initial moles of the iron 3 ion is equal to its molarity times its volume. So we have 2 times 10 to the negative 3 molar times 0 0.0100 liter, which gives us 20 times 10 to the negative 6 moles. For the initial moles of the thiocyanate ion, we have the molarity of the thiocyanate ion times its volume. So we have 2 times 10 to the negative 3 molar times 0 0.0100 liter, giving us a value of 20 times 10 to the negative 6 moles. Step 2. Here, we will use the same equation but in a different context. First, the given concentration of iron 3 thiocyanate ion is its concentration at equilibrium, which is a condition after mixing the two reactants. The volume of our mixture after mixing is 10 ml for the iron 3 chloride plus 10 ml for the thiocyanate. So the total is 20 ml. If we want to get the moles of iron 3 thiocyanate ion at equilibrium, then we have the molarity of iron 3 thiocyanate ion times the volume after mixing. So we have 1.5 times 10 to the negative 4 molar times 0 0.0200 liter, giving us 3 times 10 to the negative 6 moles. At equilibrium, we have 3 times 10 to the negative 6 moles of the product iron 3 thiocyanate ion. This means that the number of moles of iron 3, ion, and thiocyanate ion that were used up in producing this amount of iron 3, thiocyanate ion must also both be equal to 3 times 10 to the negative 6 moles since according to our chemical equation, it takes 1 mole of iron 3 ion and 1 mole of thiocyanate ion to make each mole of iron 3 thiocyanate ion. So, for step 3, we find the remaining moles of our reactants at equilibrium. Remember, in step 1, we only got the initial moles. So, we have the initial moles of our reactants from step 1 and the amount consumed for making the product from step 2. The number of moles present at equilibrium for our reactants must equal the number we started minus the number that we acted. So for the moles of iron 3 ion at equilibrium, we have the initial, which is 20 times 10 to the negative 6 moles, minus 3 times 10 to the negative 6 moles, giving us 17 times 10 to the negative 6 moles. 
for the moles of the thiocyanate ion at equilibrium, our initial is 20 times 10 to the negative 6 moles, and we will subtract 3 times 10 to the negative 6 moles, which also gives us 17 times 10 to the negative 6 moles. For step 4, we determine the concentrations of our reactants at equilibrium. We use the formula for molarity. For the iron 3 ion, we have moles of iron 3 ion divided by the volume of solution in liter. So we have 17 times 10 to the negative 6 moles divided by 0 0.0200 liter, giving us a value of 8.5 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. For the concentration of the thiocyanate ion, we have the moles of the thiocyanate ion divided by the volume of the solution. So we have 17 times 10 to the negative 6 moles divided by 0 0.0200 liter, giving us 8.5 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. For the final step, we simply plug in the concentration values in our equilibrium constant expression. So equilibrium constant equals the concentration of our product, iron 3 thiocyanate ion, divided by the concentration of our reactants, iron 3 ion and thiocyanate ion. So we have 1.5 times 10 to the negative 4 divided by 8.5 times 10 to the negative 4 times 8.5 times 10 to the negative 4. And this gives us a value of 208. With the mastery of these steps and understanding of the rationale for each step, you can be master of the equilibrium constant in no time.